I basically get all my stuff straight from the players. I love the fact that these guys come in here, that they call just to chat. Um, it's surreal to think that my, all my heroes when I was a kid, like, just want to call and talk to me. It's just the strangest thing still. Hidden in Lincoln's Haymarket is a gallery dedicated to Nebraska football. Its curator, J.C. Wickstrom, has been a sports memorabilia collector since he was a small child. The first time I remember that Nebraska football was a big deal was the 78 Oklahoma game. So I was seven years old, and I realized that it was going to be a big part of my life. In 83, the university had their first, like, garage sale. I was, like, pulling stuff out of piles, like, this is Jeff Kinney's jersey from 1970, and, you know, Larry Jacobson, and I'm like, you gotta, and of course my mom was like, who's Jeff Kinney? And I was like, ah! <laughs> Who knows why anybody picks something to get passionate about and collect, but that was it for me. I mean, like, I never wanted anything else. I had purchased basically everything Amir Abdullah had sold. This third party saw it and wanted to buy it. He kept on increasing his offer, increasing his offer. And I was just like, I don't care what you offer, you can't have it. So we got to talking and it turned out this guy was uh, the president of one of the largest privately owned museums in the world. He put some money in there and that's how this place got started. I mean, it's kind of a miracle. There really wasn't a very big market for it until about 2000. Um, there were very few of us out there, a couple of us, doing Nebraska stuff. It just exploded. You know, stuff you can get for 50, 100 bucks costs $1,000 now. While JC has purchased some of his collection from auctions, most of it comes straight from former players themselves. He reached out to me, and I think like he does to a lot of uh, former players, um, you know, told me about what he's been doing, uh, his collection, and, and his interest in trying to um, get the pipeline noticed uh, through his museum. I actually had a list of like 17 guys that I had since I was in high school. And I thought those guys were unattainable. And then like two years ago, I finished the list. That's the fun for me is the, is the hunt, you know, the tracking something down. It's an addiction. I, I can't, I won't stop. I mean, just, I love it. I mean, I love it so much. So it's, uh, everybody's got their thing. So this has, mine just happens to be expensive. This is the shirt from McGee's Clothiers that was signed by the entire 1933 team. It's something that's very unusual. The best thing is because the autographs back then, they actually signed their name so you can read it. It's just such a different piece. I absolutely had to have it. So that's a pretty, something you're never gonna see. There's, no, there's only one of those for sure. The 41 football, our first Bowl team, the 41 Rose Bowl. It's the game ball signed by the whole Nebraska team. Yeah, it's free. It's uh, for everybody to enjoy. And I do enjoy the reactions of people who are big Husker fans that just shake their head. They're like, how did, how did you get all this stuff? Vintage Red has become a place to honor the legacy of Nebraska football, one piece at a time. There's so many great players that have played here. These guys have families and they want to show their loved ones that I was actually a part of this. There's a lot of history in Nebraska football and um, this, this museum to me uh, is a great place for people to come and reflect and you know honor. Um, also, I know over at the university right now there's so much stuff that's just kind of collecting dust and in closets and I think the, the ultimate goal would be to have this just great museum and right now I think that this is a perfect platform for it.